Dear the UFC bantamweight division, you little fuckers. It's time to start fighting. Okay, it's been long enough. There's none of you booked for fights other than Cody Stamen and Song Yudong, which, don't get me wrong, although I like it as a fight, is not really tickling my pickle, if you know what I mean. The rest of the division is in a fucking standstill, and it needs to stop. I'm so annoyed. This is why we don't have good cards. Because there's no one taking fights. Activity is key to success. It's key to hype. It's key to getting to the title quicker. Bantamweights have never understood this message at all. And I'm going to go through the entire division, saying who I want to see fight who, and hopefully I get some interest. I get some interest, and these fights actually start fucking happening, because we really need them. we got an entire first quarter of next year to fill, and nearly everyone's booked up except these little fuckers. And they complain about not getting big money. Jesus Christ. Henry Suda is going to come back and fly away, so he's out of this conversation. He should fight the winner of Benavidez versus Formiga in January. Just a little bit of a flyweight matchup as well, while I'm at it. Benavidez versus Figueredo, sorry. Fuck Formiga, he lost. No, not fuck. I don't know why I said fuck Formiga, but... He lost to Benavidez, so he's... I don't know why I said fuck Formiga, but... He lost, so he's out of the conversation right now. Even though he beat Figueredo. So that's the situation flyweight's fucking in right now. Marlon Marais should fight... Jose Aldo when he comes back down. Both guys coming off losses. If they're going to have a Brazil card at some point in the early part of next year or the middle part of next year, Aldo versus Marais makes sense as a co-main event of any fight night ever. So make it fucking happen. Okay? I hope Dana hears this. Aljamain Sterling's injured. Fucking whatever. He's out of the conversation then. Peter Yan needs an opponent. You know who he needs to fight. A big name fight. Edgar seems like he doesn't know what he's fucking doing. So he's out of the conversation for me as well. Peter Yan versus uh, uh, Uriah Faber makes sense. That makes complete sense to me. I don't mind that fight in the slightest. I don't know what the fuck Corey Sandagen's going to do. Maybe a fight between Peter Yan and Corey Sandagen would make sense. But I feel like Corey Sandagen's just going to sit there like a prick. I don't know who I want to see these guys fight. Fuck. Maybe Sandhagen takes on a young guy in the meantime, keeps active. Who knows what goes on, but he's just won. So I'll leave him there because he needs to fight. Maybe he fights Aljamain Sterling when they come back for the next title shot of Bantamweight. Okay? That's where we're going with it. Yan versus Faber also makes sense. Make it fucking happen, UFC. Rafael Asuncao, coming off a loss. Guess who else is coming off a loss? And is also Brazilian, may I add. Pedro Munoz. Sign him up. I've just built an Aldo card. Aldo versus Marais is the co-main event. A Sun Sal versus Munoz somewhere else on the main card. It just makes so much sense. Anderson Silva, if he's not fucking retired yet, can fight on that card as well. I don't mind seeing it, whatever happens. Good shit. That's another great fight. Jimmy Rivera. Kind of the odd man out right now. Coming off a loss. I don't know who I want to see this guy fight. I feel like he should be sacrificed. Like the lamb that he is. To some of these young, hungry up-and-comers, if I'm honest with you. Maybe you do a Jimmy Rivera versus Ricky Simone. But I don't think Ricky Simone's earned that with a loss to Faber. So fucking maybe not that guy. Ricky Simone maybe deserves to fight someone a bit lower. He's just outside the rankings. Thomas Almeida needs to go out the rankings because he isn't fighting whatsoever. I've just seen his name at the bottom. He hasn't fought in fucking ages. Get him out, all right? I don't care if he's injured. I want him out so other guys can look better because they're higher up on the rankings. Then there's more interest. Jimmy Rivera can just fuck off. I don't know what I want to do with him. Jimmy Rivera versus Dominic Cruz. But I feel like they should do a cruz Garbrandt rematch. Why are these fights not happening? Dominic Cruz, can you please tell us? Are you that comfortable in the commentary job? Could you keep teasing that you're coming back? And I know you're injured and I understand. But please, we need an answer. Because you're hogging up ranking spaces. Just like Luke Rockhold at middleweight was. Okay? We need an answer. Are you in or are you out? Because if you're out, everyone else looks better on the rankings. And everything's more interesting. And if you're in, let's make a fight with you and Cody Garbrandt in a rematch. It makes so much sense. I can't even... I'm just too good at this job. Dominic Cruz versus Cody Garbrandt. That's the fight to make. Cody Stamen's already fighting Song Yudong. That makes sense. I don't mind it. Rob Font should take on. Rob Font versus Marlon Vera. Maybe that's on the Brazil card as well. You can get some Ecuadorian fans 
from Marlon Vera to attend the event. It will be in Southern America. I believe Ecuador's in Southern America. I hope I'm correct on that. I know there's a few guys that are watching this video sweating to go and check that on maps so they can fucking correct me. So I hope I'm right. All right? Rob Font should take on Marlon Vera, for sure. That's a great fight. John Dodson. Yeah, what are you fucking doing here? Um, maybe John Dodson versus Ricky Simone makes sense. I feel like Almeida should come back against Nathaniel Wood. That makes sense. Nathaniel, you could cut a promo. It would be in March, London. I'm thinking of the the lines right now, the, the sound bites that you could use. Nathaniel Wood once said in an interview, my memory serves me correct, he wants to beat every guy that Brad Pickett lost to. That's his mission. He wants to beat the guys that Brad Pickett, his coach, and English legend of MMA, beat Demetrius Johnson. He wants to beat all the guys that beat him. And Thomas Almeida beat Brad Pickett. It makes sense. I can see the promo already. Put it on UFC England, wherever you're going to do it in March. On the main card, it makes so much sense. I feel like I said it makes so much sense so often in this video, by the way. It's really annoying me. Either way, those are the fights I want to see. Is there anyone else outside the rankings we should give a fuck about? Sean O'Malley's coming back. Um, him versus Randy Costa would be kind of fun. Randy Costa just got a big win over Boston Salmon. Early first round KO. Took no damage. Randy Costa versus Sean O'Malley. UFC 245 prelims. It makes... I'm not going to say it makes sense again. Bantam weight's interesting. They're kind of in a weird state right now. No one at the top wants to fight because they don't know who's going to get picked for the title. So I feel like that's what a lot of these guys at the top of the division are doing right now. They're just kind of waiting to see what Cejudo's doing next because we'll say one of them in the top of the division takes a fight. It's a big risk to take a fight if you're at the top of the division anyway. Take a fight and then Cejudo says, hey, I'm back at Bantam weight. Uh, who's got a fight? Oh, you've got a fight. I won't pick you then. I'll go with this guy. So I feel like that's the sort of limbo the division's in right now. And it's one of the problems with two weight world champions. This is where interim belts make sense. Alright. So Udo's been out for a very long time. Benavidez and uh, Figueredo. I mean the last time Sudo fought a flyweight was January this year. So if you make a January fight between Benavidez and Figueredo at flyweight. It makes sense. I said it again. Something's wrong with me. Some CTE going on right now. But Benavidez, Figueredo, January as well. I want to see all those... What are these guys doing? How are they alive? I've never... I see the career payouts of these guys. And some of these guys fight once a year for like... 20 to 20 and they get 60% of it. And they've got to pay for... I don't know how they survive, if I'm honest with you. But hey, whatever, man. I guess they don't want to be famous. See you later. Click that button there. Goodbye. I was kind of out of content and I just used my anger... For those little fuckers at Bantamweight. Just make content. I'm a genius.